The Minnesota Vikings are just one of 12 teams to never win a Super Bowl in franchise history. The Vikings have been around since 1961 and have made the Super Bowl four times, but unfortunately lost every single time. But in today's video, we are going to be adding one NFL superstar to the Minnesota Vikings until they win their first ever Super Bowl. Our first season went terribly, finishing with a 7-10 record and last in the NFC North. Although Kirk Cousins and the offense had a really good season, the defense gave up the third most yards in the entire NFL. The Bengals ended up beating the Cowboys in the Super Bowl where Joe Burrow had himself a season, winning both the Super Bowl MVP and the NFL MVP. After every season, we are going to spin a wheel of NFL teams and take one NFL superstar from their team. The first wheel spin lands on the Washington Commanders, and we have a few really good choices here, including Terry McLaurin, Jonathan Allen, or Ed Rusher Chase Young. But after that really disappointing season from the defensive side of things, Chase Young is now a Viking. Here's a look at our offense going into season number two, where Justin Jefferson took another leap and is now a 99 overall superstar X Factor. He has 94 speed, 97 catching, and 99 spec hat. Kirk Cousins took a step back, but he still remains our play caller for the 2023 season. The defense is looking a lot better with Chase Young leading the defensive line and Harrison Smith leading the secondary. After season two, the Vikings finished with a 7-10 record once again, missing out on a playoff spot for the second straight season. Although Kirk Cousins is aging, he still threw for 4,770 yards and threw for 35 touchdowns. Alvin Cook took majority of the snap going for 230 attempts and going for 950 yards with 11 touchdowns. But Justin Jefferson continued his excellence on the field going for 1,300 yards and 6 touchdowns this season. And we can't forget about our newly acquired Chase Young who went for 9.5 sacks in his first season as a Viking. This may come to a surprise to a lot of you, but Russell Wilson threw for 5,500 yards and led the league in touchdowns with 43. And if you thought that was surprising, the Carolina Panthers are your Super Bowl champions with Brian Burns winning Super Bowl MVP. But things went from bad to worse as Harrison Smith and Adam Thielen both retired. To make this a little bit more difficult, we are going to be alternating between one defensive superstar and one offensive superstar from the wheel spin. Spinning the wheel of NFL teams and it's going to be the Los Angeles Rams. And there is only one right choice here and that's going to be the back-to-back -back offensive player of the year in Cooper Cup. He's a 98 overall superstar X Factor and will fit right in alongside Justin Jefferson. Offense heading into season three is looking a lot better with Cooper Cup as wide receiver number two. Dalvin Cook will continue to be the starting running back and Kirk Cousins has dropped down to a 76 overall, but I am hoping all the weapons around him will be enough to make a playoff push. After losing Harrison Smith to retirement, the defense took a step back, but Chase Young progressed up to a 90 overall. Kirk Cousins is finding some early success with his targets as he finds TJ Hawkinson in the end zone and Cooper Cup for a touchdown as well. But unfortunately, that did not continue throughout the season as the Vikings finished with the worst record in the NFC North going 6-11. This has been a terrible start as the Vikings missed the playoffs for the third straight season. Kirk Cousins had another solid season going for 4,800 yards and throwing 35 touchdowns. Justin Jefferson and Cooper Cup both had great seasons and Chase Young also had himself a season with 19 and a half sacks. After that disappointing season, Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs win their third Super Bowl and Josh Allen wins NFL MVP. With the 10th overall pick in this year's draft, the Vikings management decided to take a chance on a quarterback. Dennis Lafferty is a quarterback out of East Carolina and is looking to replace Kirk Cousins in his rookie year. After adding Chase Young and Cooper Cup so far, the wheel lands on the Ravens heading into year four. We can take a defensive superstar and we have a tough choice here. We can go with shutdown corner Marlon Humphrey, middle linebacker in Roquan Smith, or we can beef up our safety position with Marcus Williams. The best option would probably be to upgrade the secondary, but passing up on one of the best linebackers in the game wouldn't be smart. Roquan Smith is now a member of the Minnesota Vikings. The Vikings offense will now be led by rookie Dennis Lafferty, but the rest of the offense is pretty much intact from last the season. The defense, on the other hand, got a huge upgrade in the linebacker position, and Chase Young keeps getting better. And the Vikings finally be good enough to make a playoff appearance? And through the midseason, the Vikings are at the top of the NFC North with a record of 5-2. The offense is off to a great start, and Lafferty already has 15 passing touchdowns. And to my surprise, the Vikings finished with the best record in the NFL, winning 14 games. And with a 14-3 record, the Vikings get a first round bye heading into the playoffs. The Vikings offense finished 7th in the NFL and the defense finished 6th in the NFL. Rookie quarterback Dennis Lafferty finished with 4,615 yards and 40 touchdowns. And Dalvin Cook had himself a season going for 1,200 yards and 16 touchdowns. And Justin Jefferson led the way at receiver with 1,400 yards and 8 touchdowns. But more importantly, the Vikings had 3 receivers with over 1,000 yards this season. Recently acquired Roquan Smith led the team in tackles with 126 and 4 interceptions. And Chase Young continued 
continue to dominate with 15 and a half sacks this year. In the divisional round, the Vikings take on the Seattle Seahawks. And the score in the fourth quarter was 20 to 12 for the Seahawks. Lafferty and the Vikings have just 40 seconds to make something happen. He steps back and he finds his receiver in Justin Jefferson, who is going to take it all the way to the house but they are still down two. In an empty step for the two point conversion, Lafferty hikes the ball and he finds KJ Osborne in the end zone to tie the game and we are heading to overtime. In overtime, the Seahawks ended up scoring a field goal and Lafferty had one chance to make something happen. But unfortunately, Lafferty kind of let the pressure get to him and he throws an interception to lose in the divisional round to the Seahawks. The Seahawks went on to win the Super Bowl where CJ Stroud won Super Bowl MVP and Dak Prescott wins NFL MVP. After that heartbreaking loss to the Seahawks in the divisional round, the Vikings have added Case Young, Cooper Cup, and Roquan Smith to this team so far and are now heading into season five so they can take an offensive superstar from the Jacksonville Jaguars. They have three really good choices on offense here in Christian Kirk, Trevor Lawrence, and Travis Etienne Jr. My decision here might be a little bit of a head scratcher since we just drafted a quarterback in Lafferty, but I'm going with Trevor Lawrence because I think he is the piece that we need to win a Super Bowl here in Minnesota. With Trevor Lawrence as the Vikings' new play caller, he has Jefferson, Cooper Cup, and TJ Hawkinson alongside him, which makes this offense incredibly capable of making a deep playoff run. Chase Young is now up to a 97 overall and will lead the defensive line, and Roquan Smith will captain the linebacker. Court. Trevor Lawrence is looking great in his new uniform, hitting Justin Jefferson in stride for a touchdown. The Vikings finish at top of the NFC North again with an 11 and 6 record and now face off against the Lions in the wild card game. Trevor Lawrence had himself an incredible season, throwing for 5,255 yards and 37 touchdowns. Alvin Cook had over 1,000 yards and scored 17 times. Jefferson led the way with 1,400 yards and 9 touchdowns, but Kayshawn Boot had 14 touchdowns on the year. Cooper Cup and Hawkinson had great seasons as well. The Vikings were able to kick a last second field goal to defeat the Lions in the wild card game and now they take on the first place Seattle Seahawks. Late in the fourth quarter Logan Diggs the backup running back was able to secure the victory for the Minnesota Vikings. The Eagles are up next and this game was one to watch. It was a back and forth game heading into the fourth quarter where the Philadelphia Eagles had one chance to try to get in the end zone here. Fourth down and three in the red zone with two minutes left. Can they get there? but unfortunately they get stuffed and the Vikings were able to win the NFC Championship game for a score of 26 to 21 and now head into the Super Bowl. The New England Patriots and the Minnesota Vikings are playing for the Lombardi Trophy and the Vikings came out the gate firing. Jefferson scoring on their first drive of the game. The defense came up big on New England's first attempt there and now the Vikings are going up 10 at the end of the first quarter. New England was finally able to get on the board, but TJ Hawkinson was able to find the red zone as the first half came to an end. Heading into the fourth quarter, the Vikings had a 14 point lead, but Mac Jones was able to find Terry McLaurin for an eight yard touchdown pass, cutting the lead down to seven. Dalvin Cook scores a late touchdown run, but the Patriots fight back with two touchdowns of their own. High in the game, and now we head to overtime. In overtime, Mac Jones throws a costly interception to Lewis sign and the Vikings kick a field goal to win their first ever Super Bowl in franchise history. It took adding four NFL superstars and five seasons to finally get the Vikings to hoist up the Lombardi Trophy for the first time ever. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out where I try to win a Super Bowl with the Detroit Lions.